Hey, welcome back. Brian Fitzpatrick here. Thanks for joining me for another video. I was outside doing some yard work earlier this morning and there were two different radio programs that I was listening to and both of them covered the same topic. Topic. It had to deal with people that um, were not interested in returning to the office. So being in the real estate industry, I saw this coming from a mile away. Um, I've seen people flee the cities and go out to uh, these more rural locations. And you had to figure that eventually offices would open back up and people would be required to go back into the home office. But um, according to a lot of folks, they are just not interested in that. So it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out. So when I got back to my computer uh, this evening, I got an email from uh, National Association of Realtors and they were talking about this specific topic. So I figured if I've heard about this three times today, probably makes sense to do a video about it. So let's take a look at the article. Um, this article is from the Commercial Observer, which is a deal specifically with commercial real estate. And this is a very clickbaity uh, title here, this tagline, but it certainly got my attention, uh, even if it's not entirely accurate. 39% of workers say they'll quit if remote work is not permitted. Again, that's not actually what the article says, but uh, we're just going to roll with it here. As companies look to start calling employees to return to work in person, many workers are refusing to return to the office. That could have ramifications for the commercial office market if large numbers of workers refuse to return. Uh, there's a simple solution for that. If somebody doesn't want to return to the office, they no longer have a job. 39% of 1,000 employees recently surveyed nationwide said they would consider leaving their jobs if their bosses aren't flexible about remote work or working from home, according to a poll from the Morning Consult, commissioned by Bloomberg. Younger workers were the least likely to want to return in person, according to the survey. 49% of millennial and Generation Z workers felt the strongest on the topic. Does that surprise anyone? Uh, this is the kind of the I generation. They use their phones, they have iPads, laptops. Uh, they look at face-to-face, person-to-person interactions very differently than I think folks of uh, my generation. Maybe they will feel a little differently uh, years from now, but, but as of right now, they're very happy to do everything virtually um, and through the screen. So this is not surprising at all. A survey conducted last month by Realtor.com of nearly 4,000 U.S. adults showed that almost 60% of new homeowners who purchased in the last 12 months are working from home and 62% prefer to continue working remotely. Many respondents also said they'd be looking for a new job if they had to return to the office in person full time. Now here's the challenge with that, right? So if all these people are gonna be looking for jobs that are an hour outside of a city, there's not gonna be enough jobs to support that. So eventually what's gonna happen is a lot of these people who purchased homes, again, I'm in the real estate industry um, and I'm in the Boston market, but a lot of the people who purchased homes, say an hour outside the city or 45 minutes outside the city with no traffic during a pandemic uh, are not interested in coming into the city. So what's going to happen is they're going to start looking for a job out there. They're going to realize, hey, my, it, maybe there's jobs out here, but they're going to pay half of what I can make in the city. So there's going to be a glut of properties coming on the market, uh, you know, that are well outside these major metro areas. Um, because people just aren't going to want to deal with that commute. More employees want to continue with remote work at least part of the week. A JLL survey of 2000 international workers found that 72% said they wanted to remain home during the work week. About a quarter of respondents said they wanted to work from the office full time. WeWork CEO Sandeep Mathrani sparked criticism online recently when he said the least engaged workers are the ones who want to continue to work remotely. JP Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon added to that saying that working from home doesn't work for people who quote, who want to hustle. As a rollout of vaccines has started to reach milestones across the country, many companies have considered bringing back workers earlier than they had originally suggested. So there you go. So offices are opening back up. Um, what kind of impact it's going to have on the, the real estate market 
remains to be seen, but uh, I'm pretty bullish on the fact that a lot of people are not going to be real happy with that commute when they do have to come back into the office. So there's going to be a lot more houses for sale and they're going to be in positions where they may have negative equity. They may be upside down in their house because the demand is going to be plummeting outside, you know, again, 30, 40 miles outside the city. And the supply is going to be going up like crazy because everyone's in the same boat. They're like, oh my God, I got to go back to work now. And uh, this commute is killing me uh, because it's a, you know, when they made their decision to buy out the sticks, they, it was during the pandemic and no one was on the road. So, you know, you could drive 30 miles and it would take you 35, 40 minutes. Now that same 30 miles talks, uh, takes you, um, you know, an hour plus. I remember when we were, I live in Watertown, which is just outside, um, Boston city limits. And I remember we were looking at a place out in um, Natick. So we were looking for a single family house and ultimately we decided to buy uh, a condo in Watertown uh, because we were not interested in, we, we did that commute once in the morning and we're like, oh my God, we're new. <laughs> this is a terrible quality of life. So uh, we decided to purchase um, something much closer to the city so that we had the opportunity to, to get to work easily. Uh, as opposed to being stuck in traffic, which I know a lot of people do, do not like. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you smash that like button and subscribe for additional videos. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.